こんにちは。Hello everyone. I'm Hiroko. This time is the origin of kanji part three. In my previous two videos, you learned many kanji came from shapes of things, and many kanji were created by putting together more than two basic elements of kanji. Here, you learn more about the origin of kanji and other knowledge. First, we'll review briefly. Can you say the meanings of these kanji? These kanji came from shapes of things in this picture. The moon, mountain, the sun, tree, wood, forest, water, fire, rice field, river, horse, person. You read these kanji. Tsuki, yama, hi, ki, Hayashi, Mori, Mizu, Hi, Ta, Kawa, Uma, Hito. Next, I'll use this picture. Can you write kanji meaning fire? Hi. How about it? Hayashi. It's a gate. The shape of a gate changed this way and became this kanji. Mon, gate. It's a bird. The shape of a bird changed into this way and became this kanji. Tori. The sun and the moon make this kanji. It means bright. Akarui. Gate, mon, gate and mouth make this kanji meaning ask. Mon, kuchi, tou. Gate and ear make this kanji meaning hear or listen. Mon, mimi, kiku. You learn another origin of kanji. Some kanji were created by combining dots and lines to express something abstract, such as position or number. This one line shows a number. What number? One. How about two lines? Two. Three lines. Three. Kanji for one, two, three are simple, but other numbers are not so simple. I'll show you kanji for numbers from one to ten. Let's read. Ichi, ni, san, shi, oa, yon, go, roku, nana, oa, shi, hachi, kyu, ju. Once more. Ichi, ni, san, shi, oa, yon, go, roku, Nana oa shichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Hachi has the same shape as katakana ha because katakana ha came from this kanji. Ten, ju is easy, only two lines. One, two. Each character has the order to write. Four, shi oa yon. One, two, Three, four, five, five strokes. Five, go. One, two, three, four, four strokes. Stroke count is useful when using a kanji dictionary. You learn kanji for position. A dot above the line shows up or the top. It became this kanji. It reads ue meaning up or the top. In the same way, a dot below the line shows down or the bottom. It became this kanji. It reads shita meaning down or the bottom. If you draw a line through the center of a rectangle, you get this kanji, which means middle, center. It reads naka, ue, 
shita, naka. Based on kanji for tree, you will learn three kanji. This kanji is ki, meaning tree. This is the base of a tree. If you put a dot here, you get this kanji, meaning the base or the beginning of things. It reads moto or hon. Japan is written in kanji this way. They read nihon or nippon. This kanji means the place where the sun rises from. This kanji hon also means a book. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. This is my book. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. If you add a log line to the top of the tree, it shows the tree top at the end. This kanji reads sue meaning end. Instead of a long line, if you put a short line here, it shows young branch. This kanji reads me, meaning not yet. Kanji characters were originally created in China and came to Japan. However, some kanji were created in Japan. I'll show you two examples. In China, this character means a field where various crops grow, but in Japan, it means a rice field. For the Asian Japanese people, the image of a rice field was a field in water. Other crops didn't grow in such a field, so they had to create a new character. In contrast with water, they put fire with this character and created this new character, meaning a field where crops other than rice are grown. It reads hatake. This character reads touge, meaning a mountain pass. This kanji means up. This kanji means down. A mountain pass is a place between up and down roads in a mountain. Finally, you will learn a difficult kanji. This kanji reads oya meaning parent. Do you think you can write this kanji? Too difficult? Don't worry, you can do it. This character is made up of three kanji. This one, this one, and this one. This kanji reads tatsu meaning stand. This is tree. This kanji reads miru, meaning look. Imagine someone stands on the tree and he or she is looking at you. It's your parent. Each kanji has its own stroke order, writing order. The most basic rule for writing kanji is that we write characters from top to bottom and from left to right. With this kanji, we start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 strokes. This is one stroke. As I said before, stroke count is important when using a kanji dictionary. Enjoy learning Japanese. Thank you for watching. Arigatou gozaimashita.